I'd like to invite the children to come and sit in the front row, right here. Is that okay? And I'm going to talk about things that are visible and things that are invisible. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions and you may find the answers right here in the congregation. So maybe you should be, you know, when I ask some questions, you can turn around and look at the congregation. Now, things that are visible are things that we see. Sometimes they're a surprise to us because we don't expect to see it. But I think that there's also ways that we can demonstrate visibility, and you'll see that very soon. Okay. The first thing that is visible, I wonder whether there's anybody here who has a book. You have a book. Can you talk about the book a little bit? All about railroads, scripture trains, and old-fashioned ones. Let's see if I can find it. Can you see that? See that? Those are old I like trains. You like trains? Yes. Have you ever been on a train? You have? Okay. All right. So if you see, here we go. We've already seen one thing that visible. That's just the beginning. We're going to see other things too. Now, the other thing that I wanted to ask you. It, <laughs> She wants to be visible. So <laughs> now yesterday I want to find out. Did any of you see the rain yesterday? Did, did any of you raise your hand if you saw the rain? Okay, all right. Now I want to find out though what do we sometimes have to do when it rains? <laughs> so we have to do that, and the reason that we do that is because we don't want us to get wet. We don't want to get wet. Okay, so that's one of the things that we do too. Now that's one of the things that rain will do, will make us have the umbrellas out and our even our raincoats. But one of the things about rain that we have to realize is that it's water. And can you talk about the things that the water will do when it rains? Well, it's been really, really dry. And so my flowers have not looked tremendously good in my yard unless I get out there and water them. And because flowers need sun and soil and water. Lots of, of water and sun. So okay. that's what we need. Okay, all right. So we have rain, which serves two purposes to water things that are dry and also to, uh, you know, have, have it so if we have more plants and trees and flowers, you know, they get thirsty just like we do. Do most of you get thirsty? Yeah, okay, so that's one of the ways in which water can help us when we're thirsty. Now the other thing that I want to demonstrate is that, what about friendliness? You know, we come to church and right now, you know, we can't shake hands, we can't wave at each other, but what we can do is we can show ways that we can be friendly. So let's look at ways that we can be friendly. You know, this is just one way, and we probably have other ways too. 
that we can maybe call people on the telephone or find out how they're doing or just to find out you know how things are overall so that's that certainly is a way that though we can show friendliness and when we come to church we expect friendliness we may not know all the people very well here but the people that we do know we want to greet them and because we can't shake their hand we're going to wave at them, so I want you to remember to do that, okay? Now, the other things that I want to talk about at night, when you go outside, what do you see at night? Now, it's dark outside, but there's still other things you can see. You know what those things are? The moon. The moon, yes. And the stars, absolutely. And do you know... If you look Tuesday night, there's going to be a full moon. So I'm going to alert you to that because you want to see the full moon. And again, all of these things that are up in the sky are part of God's creation. He created the world, the planets, the stars, the sun, the moon. These are all ways that, you know, God made everything visible to us. And that's important to remember. But you know there are times when things are invisible. Now I want to find out how many of you see oxygen? Can you see oxygen? No. Oh, but we need oxygen, don't we? Because without oxygen, we wouldn't be able to breathe. So while we can't see it, we take everybody take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. Again, that is part of what our body needs, that is invisible, but that is so important and is so necessary. The other thing that may be invisible to many people is actually seeing Jesus. Now we know that Jesus is with God and in heaven, but what we maybe don't realize is that Jesus is always looking out for us. Jesus is always looking over us and wanting to know that we're not alone, that there's someone who loves us, who cares about us, who hopes that we're doing okay, and that is Jesus Christ. So we have things that are visible and invisible, even the things you can't see, like Jesus or oxygen. So thank you for coming up, and we'll go back. Bye-bye. I'm so glad you came up, and I'll see you again. Yeah. We're doing good. Some of the preparations 